What's going on, everybody? Happy Saturday. Hopefully, you're all doing all right. If we got some sales, if you got sourcing listed. Uh, good day today so far. Had about four to five sales. Currently, for the weekend, we are sitting about 16. Sit, wait. I always hate the app. The app's been weird, really weird. eBay app. It submitted me to some old listing style, the previous, and then between the old and the new. Uh, so let's see who's in the chat. The liquidation Lounge was first. Darren finally made one. Good to see you. Scott Lindsay, what's going on? Thrifty Santa, thanks for coming. Thrill to Hunt, Chibs, Thrifter's Dream, Alan Fulmer, Charlotte, and uh, that's it. That's all so far. All right, so I'm going to tell you about how I clean my hats. Uh, they're currently drying, so I'll give you a better update more tomorrow. Hey, Margo. Uh, who is this guy? Hey, John, what's going on? Gina, Debbie, what's up? Uh, I did take a return today. This light's acting funky. Uh, did take a return today. The person who got the return said the box, the it was all damaged and sent a picture. Uh, so I just refunded him. It was $45, kind of hurt, but it happens. Hey, thrilled to hunt. Had my first sales on Amazon. Nice. That is great. Always love getting that Amazon sale. That's like a, uh, that's awesome when you see that one start and you see the, the amount at the up at the top. Sideways hat. Yeah, I decided not to. I still have my other ones down here that I got to throw up there. Oop. The ones from last night. No sideways hat. I figured I'd let the guy behind me do it. Uh, did you have insurance? No, he said the box was beat up in the message. He claimed it wasn't uh shipping damage, but I sent, I think I sent it priority. So I just closed the return uh, and I just ate it. Uh, oh, well, I guess I could have put in a claim that it was a uh, shipping fault, but I, uh, I just let it go. Hey, William, William, long time no see. Hey, Sean. So today I got back to the bins. Was the box that important? What box? It was a. Uh, it was like a, one of these things. It was like a light, a light that was a mini guitar stand. It was forty five bucks. I got it from Liquidation Lot. So I'm. I thought I tested it. I had my inventory for a while, so I was happy to get rid of it. But that's all right. Oh, as he said the box was beat up and the plug, something about the plug was stuck into the unit. So, uh, oh, well, he, it's all part of business, right? Hey, Scott Lindsay, thanks for the uh, super chat. Help to pay for your return. I appreciate it for the $4.99. Thank you. Uh, Thrill the Hunt says it takes five minutes to claim online. I've never lost. Maybe I'll look into it, but. Rodney sold my first pair of shoes for my Amazon returns palette. Nice. I saw your shoes lot you put up there. That's great. Again, Scott, I appreciate the super chat. That's great. Nevermore. Uh, Ray Ray, three weeks on eBay, $293 in sales. What is your average profit on clothing items? It's between anywhere between 10 and 20 bucks, depending on the item. Average, I sell polo shirts that I make mostly $12 on, 10 to 12 bucks. So... Uh, I actually sold a polo shirt today. I bought for four dollars, sold for twenty-five. So twenty minus shipping, that's going to be more like fifteen. Darren sold one Cincinnati Reds hat. Nice. Yeah, guys, hats pay the bills. All right. So I'm just uh, on that note, Darren. Thanks for the segue there. But if you get hats from the bins or from the store, and they're awesome, right? Uh, I'll show you on this one. So what I do. And if it's a little dirt or dust, uh, so take this as the hat. I have this brush, and I forgot where I bought this brush. Do you guys remember uh, Fuller? Fuller Cleaning Products? I forget the first name of it. Um, yeah, I forget what that's called. Fuller Brush. Fuller Brush, right? Brush, go figure. So I got one of these, and I think this was from my my mom either got it for me or I took it from her. She wasn't using it. So she I used to use this to clean my shoes, not this same one, but I would clean my soccer cleats with these. So what I did was I have this, and I had a little like dish. It's almost like an ice cream dish, and I put a little detergent in it, little detergent. What I would do is I dip this in the detergent, and I take this and I scrub it, and it's basically like 
like your washing machine does. And I scrubbed it, got all sudsy, put it under, actually put it under the water, and uh, got it all wet, got the soap off, and they're drying upstairs. So I'm going to show you what it turns out to be. But basically, just a simple brush and some soap, some detergent. Uh, and the dirt came out, and not on this one, but it's drying. So this little brush is awesome. Were you not going to wear the hat sideways? I got down here too late. I'm like, wow, I couldn't pick a hat. So, yeah, I didn't wear my hat. Sorry. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe I'll pick out a hat. I'll show you some hats I got tonight. Or I'll show you. Maybe we'll do one of those. $170 profit last night on a Fitbit Versa. Nice job, Chibs. $97 profit on Sean for Sean. Great. St. John Blazer, $224. Nice job, Tracy. All right, so next thing I picked up, I'm getting a bunch of these lately. Uh, look, if you're going to buy Wii Guitar Heroes, obviously test it out. This one is missing the strap. I'm going to see if I can buy a strap online. But uh, I always test them. Uh, if you're going to buy anything other than Wii, make sure uh, you get the dongle. You can see in the bottom, I don't know if it's on this one, but usually the non-Wii versions, they'll have a little sticker. I forget where it is. A little sticker will tell you what system it's for. Most of the time, you'll get, you're going to need a dongle. So I got that. Uh, and again, if you guys, everyone passes up sports equipment. And I picked up this. So this is an ice hockey helmet. Looks like to be used. But uh, look up the brands. Usually they do pretty well. Uh, if you can't sell them online, take them to your local sports retailer and get a, you can get some money for them. I only paid $30 for everything I'm going to show you tonight. So if I can get at least, you know, five to $10 from and play it again and not have to worry about shipping it, that's, that's nice profit, right? A couple bucks for something that someone was going to leave there. Uh, definitely sports stuff does pretty well at, look, look it up. Like you don't want a crappy bike helmet, but. Uh, a lot of times people overlook that stuff. Like I picked up uh, this racket, this rack, racquetball racket. Uh, I think I listed for about 25. Uh, they rolled out the new bins and they weren't even looking for this. I've sold one of these for about $40, not this exact version, but got it from the bins, sold it for 40 bucks. Rackets definitely look at the, uh, it's kind of good, actually really good. Uh, but just double check the handle and the strings and double check up here. But a little longer tail, if you can find the right one, it's almost worth it to buy. Hey, Tony, what's up? Packers bobblehead. Uh, sold for 500 bucks. Holy cow, that's awesome. That's great. Uh, How do you ship the rackets? Uh, Eric, yeah, so... What I'll do is I'll take the racket, and uh, what you can do is cut a cardboard box, cut the bottom, put it flat, fit this right in the flat way, and just tape the ends. And that's really all I do. I think the last one I shipped was about four to five, uh, four to seven dollars, depending. It's a really light. Uh, just measure, measure it, make sure it meets the requirements of uh, shipping. But it's pretty cheap to ship. But yeah, Eric, I just take it, slip it in a box, and you're good to go. How about those Bulldogs? I don't know. Did they win today? Now you guys need to find one. Yeah, look out for the Green Bay bobblehead. Hey, Alicia, what's up? Cindy, why? Uh, I find these things. You can pick these up pretty cheaply. They're a little harder to ship just because they're big. But uh, they sell anywhere between 25 and 20 bucks. Uh, this is the Perplexus Epic. If you don't know where they... the the name is, it's usually on the inside here, as well as it's, it's on the outer rim. It'll tell you what it is, but it's a, uh, a maze game. Uh, I've never seen one broken yet, uh, but they sell pretty well, pretty quickly, uh, depending on what version you get. Uh, oh, they, they killed it. Nice. They make a Death Star, too. What? Darren, thanks for the super chat. Another one. I appreciate it. Use this money to buy a cap washer or you'll love it and find them on eBay. All right, I'll have to look that up. Uh, but I got a I got a sweet vintage Chicago Bulls hat. That's what I cleaned with this brush. Uh, Darren, I'll look at the cap washer and let you know. Uh, 
Chibs. My uh, Nike polos have been selling all right. I haven't seen an issue. Taylor made. So I got a couple hats here. This one's brand new. I was actually looking for the hats. People saw I was looking for hats and they were throwing them at me. So I got a bunch of hats I'll show you about. Apparently we have a peewee team this year. Oh, yeah, they're, they're not playing well, huh? All right, so when I said I found another one, uh, I did not see any comps on this one, but the one I sold before, I sold it for $25, and I did get it from the bins as well. It's another Grateful Dead tie. Uh, when you get these Grateful Dead ties, they'll have usually what the uh, the name of the tie version is on the, on the back there. And then this is just plain. Double check the seams. 100% silk. Uh, I'll probably list this one for 25 as well. Uh, but yeah, Grateful Ted. I this I, this was just sitting there. I actually just I was about to leave, and this was the one in, in the uh, bags bins. The bags bins for us they have bags, hats, ties, gloves. So that was one I picked up. I always try and get the tights. Tie the tie is blurry. Am I blurry now? All right, let's. I'll show you again. So if you can find that, look for that Grateful Dead. Uh, all right, what else did I get? This is kind of cool. I saw these. Uh, I don't know if you guys are fans of racing, but picked up. I don't know where this came from. It's World of Outlaws Sprint Series, but it's Outlaws Official. So that's kind of cool. Dirt, Dirt Motorsports, and on the back it says Official. I saw that sitting there. I had to pick that up. We'll see what it sells for. Have again for most of these, I have not looked up comps yet. Oh, the design of the tie was blurry. Whoops. Yeah, it's like etched pattern. So I got that, the outlaw official, and then I found one jacket. So this is kind of like a windbreaker, World of Outlaws Sprint Series, but then it's got a huge logo on the back. So that is really cool. I like that a lot. I don't even think it fit me. Oh, it's extra large. It might fit me. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I've not checked comps yet, but we'll see. Uh, no, no, you're fine, John. Uh, all right, what else did I get? I picked this up. I tend to find these Under Armour T-shirts. This is actually Notre Dame Rec Sports staff. Uh, these sell pretty quickly for me. The Under Armour sh shirts. Or I keep them and wear them for myself. This one, I think someone threw this one back. Again, have not looked up comps on this one. This is a Tommy Hilfinger, though. Tommy Hilfinger long sleeve. Everything's pretty good with it. But if you see little patterns like this, uh, I found shorts that had, like, patterns on it. And they sold. They had brand new with tags. I think I sold them for, like, 30 bucks. But these little guys or little people, little things that repeat on shirts, Go and pick them up, and I pick this one up, and then I believe it's Cheers, the theme, Tommy Ofinger, uh custom fit. But I'll have to look that up. I don't know what it'll sell for, but I thought that was really cool. That was one of the later ones that I picked up. Cha-ching, hopefully. Oh, did you get another sale? None for me yet. I'm still... Uh, Close game. Looks like Texas A&M and Clemson. 28 to 20. All right, picked up some. So here's my hat. Oh, another T-shirt before I get into the hats. Picked up this cool T-shirt. I don't think it'll fit me, but cool sports T-shirt. 8-bit sports. We'll see how that goes. Uh, when you come to ASD, we now have the world's largest Chevron mega store with gigantic sculptures and 95 gas pumps. Really? I'd love to see that. All right, so some hats I picked up. This is brand new, NCAA soccer. Got that. I picked up one of these. I already have one of these, so which is great is all I have to go in the listing to visor and increase the quantity since I already have it listed. Uh, we have the Arnold in Columbus, Ohio. It's a weightlifting sports event. I just grabbed this. I don't think it'll sell, but. It's BSN, which is a type of uh, uh, workout, drink mix, uh, Miami. 
Miami University. That one probably won't sell, but we'll see. Just a generic hat. This one's really cool. This one, I think, and this where I say hats pay the bills, this one's going to pay the bills minus the fuzz on it. There's some dusty fuzz. But this is a PGA Tour Professional Golfers Association of America, which is awesome. It has Under Armour. It's Under Armour. This, uh, not you. I mean, I say not used, but there's no staining on it, which is awesome. And it has Junior Championship on Junior PGA Championship on the back. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. That I'm gonna list for about twenty nine ninety nine, uh, pending comps. But I'm gonna shoot high on that one. And that would pay for everything that I bought today. No idea what this is. You guys know what is this a company? It's uh, looks looks to be from the Memorial Tournament, some sponsor. But I picked it up because it was brand new. Uh, no idea what age. I didn't even look it up yet. I didn't know if anyone knew. Uh, Volkswagen. There's a little little dirt on the brim, but I figured someone likes a Volkswagen hat. That's a good brand for me. I sold a jacket in this before. Uh, car logos tend to do really well, so if you can find car logos on pretty much everything. Get them. Yeah, Under Armour also, Tony. Oh, yeah, NFL starts tomorrow. Make sure you get your team set up. If you're in the Fantasy Football League or other league, make sure you get them in. Uh, yeah, Southern. My, uh, they undid the liquidation affiliate links, unfortunately. So uh, that link won't work if you're looking at – oh, I didn't take it out of this one because I copied in the comments or did details. But, yeah, sorry, Southern Air Gun. They won't work. Uh, you can just go through the straightliquidation.com if you're looking for stuff. Uh, picked up a hockey hat. Uh, this is Toronto Maple Leafs. That one will probably sell pretty quickly. Uh, last, well, a couple more, two more things, three more things. Uh, picked up an Easton baseball glove. Just threw it in the card. Don't know if that'll sell. It looks unused. This one's pretty cool. I like this. This is probably one of my better hat finds. I appreciate you. Yeah, thanks for letting me know. I just forgot to take it. I need to edit it out of my details. Uh, Google says the AGGA or AJGA is a nonprofit dedicated to the overall growth and development of young men and women. Oh, earn golf scholarships. Okay. I'm sure it'll sell. I'll definitely list it. Uh, Tony has seven injured. Uh, so this is kind of cool. This was just sitting there. It's a snapback hat with no uh, mesh in the top. Look at that. What would you guys list? This? I haven't looked it up yet. John Deere does pretty well, but it's got, I don't know what you call that, gold leaves. Uh, and there you go. Inside looks like it has never been worn whatsoever. And it has, make sure your hats have that little bubble thing on the top. Last night I bought one that did not. So the bill is scrambled eggs. Is that what that's called? Or you're laughing now. Put it on the, put the coogie on. Oh, I can't put the coogie on. That's way too big. Or maybe I'll put it on near the end. Southern Arrogance is $9.99. So I got that. One of the coolest things I picked up today. Well, minus this. Found these. Chris, how do you photo hats? I basically just put them on the floor and take a picture. I don't do anything special, but what I try to do is, uh, I'll prop it up so it sits like that, put it on the floor. I'll do one straight down on the front. If there's anything on the side, I'll do a side picture. And uh, I'll take a picture of the inside sweat brim. But this one does not have any brand on it. That's what you called it in the Navy? Nice. John, I'll put it on it. I'll, I'll throw it on at the end. Zircon, what's going on? 24 for the John Deere hat. Easy. Oh, you have a mannequin head? Yeah, I looked at I looked at that. I haven't gotten one yet. Uh, pick these up. These should be a quick sale. Uh, they're pretty much brand new. I put them in the washer. There was a little mark on the bottom, which came out, which is great. So I tend to get throw stuff in the washer right when I get it, if there's little marks on it. Uh, but these are Mizuno. Caught my eyes. They're sports. They're women's, either softball or baseball pants, whatever you want to call it. But they're women's, which is great. They're quilted, which is awesome. No stains, and they look brand new. And I think I, I think I put them up for about twenty-five bucks, twenty-four bucks. But those should sell pretty quickly. There's a ton of solds on them. Hobby Lobby has them. Oh, has the mannequin heads. All right, John, I have to check that out. 
Uh, we said something about best offer. How do you do best offer on eBay? So Zircon, right under the price, uh, there's a little checkbox that you click uh, right when you put type your price in. It says offer buyer's best offer. Looks like a John Deere Top Gun hat. That's great. I'll put that in the title. <clears throat> I've sold a ton of Wilson baseball pants that come in boxes on Amazon. Uh, Southern Air Gun. Uh, I have the same name across all platforms. So either DM me through uh, Facebook. There We have a liquidation group. Or go through uh, Instagram or um, my uh, Facebook Messenger. You'll find uh, Liquidation OH on Facebook. Taking a football and YouTube break. There you go. So, yeah, I got those. The last thing I picked up, and this is really cool. <coughs> the only thing it doesn't have is a shoulder strap. Now, look at that. Dallas Stars Center Ice Authentic Bag. And it has the, uh, I don't know if you see that, the Yofa or Jofa. But there you go. It's got that on the bottom. But it's got Dallas Stars on both sides. Someone grabbed the Blue Jackets ones before I missed it. Uh, the only problem, again, there's no shoulder strap. But this bag will go for well, I think, given the logos on it. It's pretty cool. Otherwise, I'll use it. But how much do you list softball women's pants for? I have a brand new with tags. Under Armour for 25 I saw some brand new Under Armours for 25 I think I just listed these for their Mizuno. I just looked up the actual Mizuno brand. Uh, let's see. I'll tell you what I listed them for. Uh, I forget. What, I think it was 25. I think I did do either 24 or 25 is what I did those pants for. Oh, they're going to evacuate Pitch and Forge? Really? Oh, man. Hey, Tony Mendez. What's going on? Uh, oh, you're saying the hat? Southern Air Gun, the hat, uh, mannequin head. Pretty cheap. I'll have to look into that. Yeah, guys, hopefully you're okay with the hurricanes coming in. But, all right, end it out. We'll do the uh, – see my hair. I didn't do anything with my hair today. All right, so let's see if this thing fits. Ready? I listed this, I think, for 69 69 on uh, Facebook. Or not Facebook. What am I talking about? 69 with best offer. Picked up a youth Under Armour football pants, four ninety nine. Oh, nice. Yeah, under are those Under Armour stuff, you'll sell pretty well. I don't think I could wear this out in public. Look at that. And then my sideways hat, my John Deere hat. How's that? Does that look all right? No, it's a white box with Ellie with lead to take the pictures. All right, so that I would never wear this. Look at that. And then the back's kind of cool. It fits all right. It's a little big in the shoulders. So, yeah, or I could put it on, you could put like something around. What you could do if you don't have a mannequin is you have like a, like a balloon. You could put a balloon in it. I look like an ice cream salesman. I didn't know ice cream salesmen looked like that. Just need a beer and good to go. Yeah, I got a beer fridge right here, right underneath the, uh, the counter here. This is me. I should wear this. I should wear this all the time now, right? Boy Scout gone wrong. Look at that. That's awesome. Boy Scout gone wrong with my John Deere hat with my scrambled eggs on the brim. Oh, scrambled eggs does need to be in the title. Okay, I'll put that in the title. We'll see if it sells. I had that uh, orange Ohio State Discover polo shirt. It was actually Nike. I took best offer today for twenty bucks. No, oh, yeah, yeah, you like this, right? With my Coogie on the back. I could wear my green Coogie polo. Chris, the new white rapper. There you go. Boy band. Oh, I wouldn't be in a boy band. No way. I can't sing. Justin Timber. Justin, the wrong Justin Timberlake. You like this? All right. I'll, I'll maybe we'll do that. We'll throw some weird hats on for uh, for the next for tomorrow. We'll do some weird hats tomorrow. How's that? I now all I need is John's. Uh, what do you would you have a wig? Your white wig that, that you put on? Yeah, that this shirt's not good, isn't it? Because it's, it's got a zipper right here. I don't know what you put in this zipper. It's just for show. And then you got another one up here. Keep your little like 
Tic Tacs, if you want, I guess. I don't know what you would put in there. No money, nothing. Robert Ragin, Reagan Ragin, awesome. Hopefully we can help out. Your wife, my wife won't come down here. Hopefully she doesn't. She's gonna be like, what are you doing? All right, guys, that's all I had today. Get all that stuff listed. Uh, hopefully the Kugi shirt doesn't sell then. Watch it sell tonight, right? All right, we'll get some stuff listed. Enjoy your Saturday evening. Get some football going right now. We'll watch NFL tomorrow. Get your picks going. And we will talk to you tomorrow. See you guys.